Hello friends, this is Tika Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Fund. So in this video, I am going to discuss one of the most important interviewer ask question is nothing but how to find out the occurrence of a character. So this program is asked by many of the candidates. So many of the students ask for me to make a video on that topic. So in this video, I am going to discuss about how to count the number of a character available or how to and after occurrence of a character. Okay, so now let's get you started. So this is my interview uh, point channel, YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. So here you will get all the latest interviews related to .NET and Java also. Okay, so CSR, .NET, PHP, .NET, and SQL and MVC also. Okay, so latest technology questions are available here for the interview purpose and also for your study purpose. Okay, so now I am going to open my video studio. So here I have created a class and a friends. Here I am going to declare some variables suppose str1 or str2. Okay, because these variables are required for me and some more variables in suppose count count one comma count two. Okay, these two variables are are also required for me. So first of all, I want to ask to the user to so console dot write line and enter a string. Okay, so it will ask to the user that value I want to store in the str one. Okay, so console dot read line. Okay, friends. So I of this the very simple and so you can understand it. No need to give all the things. So after that what I want to do here here it will ask to the user enter a string. So first of all suppose user enter a string hello how are you okay suppose here I want to count the edge value okay suppose this is not my this this edge is small and this edge is capital. So for that purpose, if user want to count the number of uh, edge, then it will this value and this value is S key value is different. So our system language don't know. For that purpose, what I want to do here, I am going to store that value to the string variable str2, and what I want to do here. I want to convert that string into the lower case or the string into the lower case. So str1 dot to lower. Okay. So that value I am going to convert into the lower case. After that, what I want to do, suppose here uh you want to count the edge or O. Okay, anything. So, so what I am going to do here, so you yeah. okay after that it will pass and before that what I want to do here suppose it will ask suppose I want to find out the occurrence of s okay so first of all what I want to do here I want to count the number of string uh, string length so string length and in the string length is very simple. So I am going to expose this in count one variable. So str if here str1 or str2 is the same length. So I am going to use str2 dot length property is available in C sub language and also Java. So I am going to talk about here C sub. So count one is called to str dot two length. So it will show into the count one variable the top length of this string. Okay, this next one, this string or this string. Same, both are the same string, so length is same. Okay, so here what I want to do here, I want to I have another string or I am going to create one more string here. So str3. Okay, so what I am going to do here str3 is equal to I am going to replace okay so what
what I I want to replace here. So str three is equal to str two dot replace. Okay, replace. Suppose we are want to find out the O or S. I am suppose first time it is asking the X. So I am taking here X. Okay, X. And more after that, I want to replace with it the empty, empty string. Okay. So now where it will find the edge value, it will convert into the empty value. Okay. What I want to find out how to count how many characters are edge characters are available. For that purpose, what I want to do here, I have to count two. So count two. New string are available here. New string means nothing but str three. So str three, str three dot length. Okay, friends. So now my new string is available with replacement. Okay, with replacement of s. So now. New count value also available with me. So what I want to do here, I want to print that message. Okay. So how can I print? Suppose here I can write here the occurrence of H is I am given here a count two, but not count two, but count one minus count two. So this is available. So it is better to take new variable. Okay. So count three. So it is simple for you. So count. Three equal to count to one minus count two. Okay, friend. So now I will add here the value of count three. So now you can understand easily. Okay. So after that, console dot read line. Okay, friend. So my program is completed. And now you can see the output as expected. Okay. So I am going to run press F5. See the output that I want to print in front of you. It will take some time. It will it will link. So now enter a string. Suppose hello. How are you? Okay, friend. So, hello. How are you? This string is available. I want to find out the occurrence of H. The occurrence of H is nothing but two. Okay, so H is available at two times. Okay, friend. So this is a very simple program, and now you have some knowledge how to print this string. And this code is available in my blog. Okay, friends. Code is available in this blog, so this is my URL for my blog, and also I will give you, give you the link in the description box that you can find easily. Okay, friends, thank you for watching. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.